How you study and prepare for college is probably different than how you prepared for a high school class or maybe at your previous institution. Here, the goal is not merely content retention, but analysis and application. So you certainly have to understand the core idea of an economic theory, for example, but you also have to be able to apply that theory to new scenarios and analyze and critically analyze the results. And this requires a type of very deliberate and very practiced type of study. So in this video, we talk about some techniques for studying in college. What are some of the differences between studying for college and studying for high school? Uh, so a lot of students in high school tend to be taught to be able to recognize information and then potentially just regurgitate that information or if it's problem based they can see and recognize similar things in a problem and remember mm -hmm. that. But at university level we're expecting students kind of higher level mm -hmm. of thinking and critical analysis. So being able to see information and know the basic concepts, critically analyze that and then potentially even create mm -hmm. right some problems, some questions, um, some research around that mm -hmm. and be able to mm -hmm. do more analysis at that level. It's being able to kind of think a little different so that means you have to study a little bit different when you get to college. Oh, that's great. That's a good way of thinking of it. Um, so in order to do that, that's going to take a lot of time. What, what should they be thinking about in terms of time management? So a lot of students used a planner probably mm -hmm. at some point and hated it. So thinking about how to manage your time in college is really different. So knowing that you have to be able to understand how to manage your time, but how to effectively manage your time. So knowing to just write study for math doesn't mean the same thing as being able to actually write. What does that mean? So I'm going to reread my notes. Am I going to like take practice tests? Am I going to do practice problems from the book? So really actually writing out what that mm -hmm. means in a planner and mm -hmm. so that you know what you're devoting your time to and how much time you're devoting to those types of things. Okay. and being able to see that in one place. What should students be doing before class, in class, and after class to get the most out of it? So that's really a place for students to actively be engaged with what they're learning. And that's mm -hmm. how you get to that critical thinking, right? So taking all of the notes, if you have your textbook ahead of time, reading that before the actual class you go to, mm -hmm. then going to class and actively taking notes, and then having questions form that you know you missed, either from lecture that you didn't understand or from the text, going home and rereading that a day or two after, mm -hmm. and then going to office hours, seeing your professor or your TA, and being able to ask the questions of like, I didn't understand this, you talked about this and I didn't get it, or the book mentioned this and I don't know what it means, can you explain it to me? Mm -hmm. And being able to explain what you know so far to that professor or TA, and then f them filling in the gap. Uh, and obviously one of the big differences between high school and college is how tight your schedule is. Right. What are some things that maybe first year students run into as a problem when they make the transition from high school to college? having way too much time <laughs> definitely is this huge gap right or you have one class once a week and so it's a Monday and you've only had class once and they're like I have all this free time to do whatever mm -hmm. I want but really that's time that you have to structure being able to um, find time to figure out when you're gonna do what you're gonna do mm -hmm. and then know that you should think about almost like an 8 to 5 job so yeah. I'm a student and so between 8 to 5 I have kind of the set schedule of study and school and so mm -hmm. how can you fill in those gaps with reading taking notes going to resources talking to your professor. College classes call for studying with an eye to mastery. You need to know the content, but you also have to be able to go beyond that and engage in analysis and application. And this requires some pretty serious approaches to studying, but it's worth it. Uh, this type of deliberate studying will make you a better student, a better thinker, and you'll probably get better grades.